So today I am going to show you how you can set trading sessions on your chart. It is something that is very easy and it is also very important for you to know when the London session opens and also when the New York session opens. The best time to trade is during the overlap of the London and the New York session. And I'm going to show you how you can set all of those things on your chart. So when you come to your trading view chart, make sure you are on the chart aspect and not the home page of trading view. Your chart should look like this. If you don't know how to make your trading view to look like this, there's a video I have made a complete guide on how to use trading view. It will appear right now on your screen at the top right hand corner. You can go and watch it and see how you can make all your charts to be like this. And at the same time, to also use all these tools that you are seeing here. But for this particular one, I am going to show you how you can set the trading sessions on your chart. So go to your indicators over here. This is where the indicators are located. Click on it. When you click, there is a search bar here. Just search sessions, sessions. So you type, make sure it's correct, sessions. So the one that I want is the sessions on chat. This particular one by Aurox AIF. This is the one that I am interested in and I like it more than other ones that I have been seeing. So you can click on it. When you click on it, it is already added to your chart. You can see it has appeared on my chart with different colors. So if you want, you can make it as your favorite by clicking here. I have added it already to my favorites. When you've done that, just cancel this. Now it has appeared on my chart. You can see it has different colors, but by default, it is picking all the sessions. So both the Asian sessions, the New York, the London, and the other sessions that you don't really need, like the Australian session. So what I will do now is to set this. So move over just below where your symbol is. You see there is a tiny part here you have to adjust. If you are using the one that is free, if you have other indicators you've added to the chart, when you click, it will tell you to pay. So you need to delete any indicator, the maximum indicators you can have on your chart for the free trading view is just two. So if you have added anything, you have to delete to make it only one and then add one again, or you delete the two. If I click on this, you see there are a lot of other indicators that I have added to the chart. Also note that RSI is an indicator. So if I double click here, you see I have added even RSI here. So if you have RSI plus one other indicator, you need to delete before adding any other one again. If you have added this to your chart and you click on this, you can see over here the number four, meaning I have four indicators on my chart. You can decide to hide them by using this eye icon. So if I click on it, it will hide any one that I've added. If I click again, it will open. So for this particular one, you see the eye icon is set to open. If I click on it, it will hide those indicators. You see, they are hidden. That doesn't mean you've not added them to your chart. That you hide them doesn't mean it has not been added to your chart. It is there already. So what you need to do is to click, let it come up again. You see this other setting close to it. That is where we are going to set the colors and to increase and decrease any one that we want. So I'm going to click on settings. So it has now opened for me. You can see all of them. First, before you do anything, I'm under the style now. So you just scroll down to all the sessions that you are seeing. One thing is that I don't like these things that I'm seeing over here, these sessions plot, these sessions plot, these sessions plot. They'll just clock your price chart. So I am going to remove them. Labels on price scale, I don't want them. 
So you see, they have been removed. These black things that were over here, they have been removed. And I don't want the values in the status line. I don't really need any value. So we now go back to the inputs. Go to your inputs. You can see all the London, New York, and Tokyo, and Sydney session, Australian session. This is where it is. It has been set automatically for you. So what you need to do is to click the one you are interested in. If you need the Sydney session, click to add the Sydney session. You see it has added. It was initially here. This tiny gap that is existing that is light blue in color. If you don't need it, untick it. You see it has disappeared. I don't need the Tokyo session because during these sessions, I'm sleeping in my own time from Nigeria. I will be sleeping around that time. So I don't trade those sessions. And the spread is very wide during that time for us, for the kind of asset that I trade, GBP USD. So since I'm trading GBP USD, I need only the London and the New York. London from British, New York, US. So those are the assets I trade, and it corresponds with my own time. So for the Tokyo session, I will also untick it. I don't want to see. The Tokyo session was the one over here. It has been unticked. The only ones I need are just these two, the London and the New York session. So once you have done that, you will now go back to your style in order to increase or edit these highlighted colors for those sessions. So for the London, click on this. You see it's in green. So I'm going to increase the opacity, to increase the opacity for me to know clearly when it starts. After that, I'm also going to increase the background color of the, so you go to your opacity as well, increase it of the New York session. So I will increase it like this. You see, they are more prominent. They are more prominent. These other ones, you don't need them because it's for the Tokyo session and also for the Sydney session. I don't need anything here. If you are done with all of these things, you can now click OK. And you will see that everything has been set. This is it. Now, remember I told you the best time to trade is this particular overlap. The London session starts around this time exactly 8 a.m currently UTC plus one, and it ends at exactly 5 p.m. 5 p.m. UTC plus one. Whereas the New York session, it starts, let me check here, exactly 1 p.m. and it ends by 10 p.m. There is an overlap between these two you can see most of the price movements the long long price movement the news and most of those other movements they occur around this tiny overlap that you are seeing very significant very very significant so if you are trading and this is the right time for you to trade depending on how your local time is if you are sleeping around this time you need to wake up around that time <laughs> okay but for us, we are privileged in Nigeria. This is the time that we are highly awake in the afternoon. So I trade mostly around this time. Very beautiful. Because you enter the trade and then within a short time, you've gotten what you want. Maximum of two hours, three hours. You're already getting what you want. Unlike other sessions that may waste your time. In fact, even the London session, there is a lot of, manipulations, gradual movements. So sometimes it moves fast, but the best is this New York session. Look at all the overlaps. The best price movements occur around here. Just look at this one as well, most of them. So it's this overlap that starts by 1 p.m. till around 5 p.m. before the close of the London session. That is the best time for you to trade. And this video now has shown you how to add the trading sessions on your chart and also how to edit it. 
If you have any question regarding this, just let me know in the comment section. Do have a wonderful day. Bye.